Morse code created by the man himself, Samuel Finley Brees Morse, which is where we get the name Morse code from. Well, first of all, I want to give you a little did you know fact. Well, did you know that the first Morse code message was sent on the 24th of May in 1844? <laughs> no, I, me neither, until about 10 minutes ago when I searched up on Google. And I found out that it actually said, what hath God wrought? Don't ask me what that means because I do not know. But this here is what I will be teaching you how to translate Morse code easily. Now, I know it looks complicated, but trust me, it's not. We just have letters here with branches coming off each other. Uh, a star, it's a bit like a game really, but it's super easy. It takes about one second to find out what each letter means. So, don't worry, I will explain it properly and I will give you a proper form tutorial, I could say. Right, so here we are on the thing that I drew. So this is the start, and on the left we have dashes, and on the right we have dots. So this is how it works, and I will try to make this as easy to understand as possible. So, first of all, I'm gonna give you a quick example. So to find G, you go down, dash, dash, dot. So G would be dash, dash, dot. Probably you're thinking, why is it dash, dash, dot? Well, for each movement that you make, you change either from a dash to a dot on the left or a dot to a dash on the right. So, this is start. So, you start off with dots on the right and it. And for every change in movement that you make, turn into a dash. Whereas here, you start with a dash. For every opposite movement you make here, you turn into a dot. So, for N, you go dash, dot. For O, you go dash, dash, dash. For Q, you go dash, dash, and you go to a dot because you change direction. So dash, dash, dot, and you change direction again, dash. So for Q, should be dash, dash, dot, dash. For one, which is here, you go dot, dash, 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 dash. Because you start off with a dot, as you can see here, but you've changed direction. Instead of going right, you're going left for all of this. To get a five, it's just dot, 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 dot. To get D, it's just dash, and because you're changing direction, it's dash, dot, dots, dots. So, for the left hand side, you start off with the dashes, for every opposite movement that you make, you turn into a dot. And on the right, you start off with a dot. For every opposite direction you make, you turn into a dash. So for R, you go down here, you go left, and you take a right. So that will be a dot, because I'm changing direction, turn into a dash. Because I'm changing direction again, it will turn into a dot. So it is super easy. See, I have letters here. And do not worry about these little dots here and the dash here. They don't mean anything. It's just to fill in the gap. Um, so for a seven, it's going to be dash, dash, and then dot, dot, dot. So uh, hopefully I explain that properly. Um, you'll get used to it. You just you'll, you just keep doing it and you'll get faster and faster. So I'm going to give you guys an example. So I have something here. Translate dot, dash, dot, dot. Well, as it starts with the dot, you want to go into the dot section, which is on the right. So, you want to go down one, which is a dot, and as it says dash dot dot, that means you're going to have to change direction. So you're going to go dots, and you have to change direction, so dash dots dots. So dash dot dot, and that takes you to an L. So what does dot dash dot dot equal? Well, it's an L. Now I'm going to leave you guys with one more. And you guys can comment down what you think it is by using this drawing here. So you guys can screenshot this here and keep it for yourself. It might be useful because you never know if T-Series and PewDiePie get into a wall, you might need Morse code again. So screenshot this guys and I'm going to leave you the one more. You can comment down below what you think it says by using this drawing here. So I have what I want you guys to translate. Now it's super long. I did not think it would be this long so 
I'm going to leave this on the screen and you guys can write it down. By the way, the one dash means that the one dash is in between every letter and the two dashes indicate that there's a new word. So this would be one word, two dashes, another word, two dashes, another word. So basically two dashes equals a space and the single dashes basically just mean a new letter. So there you guys go. Comment down below what you think it says using this graph. 